satisfy and fulfill our needs. Now they came and straight that's Jesus. Hey, are you the Messiah who is sent from God? So if you look at verse 3, it says, are you the coming one? It was actually a title for the Messiah, which we find that, behold, I come in the scroll, the book it is written. And John must have questioned himself, how long until Jesus comes and starts and establishes and he reigns? And Jesus responded to John, this is what he says, and he, put, and he says, Go and show John again those things which you hear and see, but blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the leper six. Jesus' response was also in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1, when it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the peace confirmed that he was the king who had came down to save and to serve humanity. We have a God who answers our doubt. He answers our questions. He answers when we're going with the things that just, and then you feel trapped or stuck. You might feel hopeless. You might feel like God has left you or abandoned you. You might feel like there is no hope. And you say, God can't love me anymore. I've sinned too many times this that we were still sick. Blessed is life. As you guys know, we like to train for the speak. It takes courage to seek God in prayer, to reveal His sometimes, God. Bless His life. So reach out your hand to bless uh, the speaker for today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the life of Adam at this time. For He has brought a beautiful word unto us. You have spoken, Lord God, through your word. That we're, when we're doubting, Lord God, there was a king that came to heal. There's a king that came to a proclaim liberty. There's a king, Lord God, that came to resurrect the dead, Lord God. So we just bless the life of God.